the sunrise, the sunset, the moon, full moon, red moon, eclipse, amazing waves at the beach, view of the mountains, being in an airplane way up high and seeing an incredible horizon, flying over nations, the wedding of one of your children, maybe your own wedding, a big, beautiful diamond. Do you know what all of these things have in common? They're, they're incomparable. How do you compare a beautiful sunset to something else? Those moments that are etched in your heart from family, weddings, parties, birth of a grandchild, of your own child. All of these things I've mentioned, they are incomparable. You can't compare. They're incomparable. I have something to show you here. Now to you, this might look like just a nice little painting of fruit. But to me, it's so much more, it's, it, it's incomparable. Do you know why? My mother in love, the uh, late, great Betty Hinkle painted this. It is incomparable because it was crafted by her hands, created by her. There's no other painting of fruit that could mean that much to me as this. It's incomparable. Welcome to 100 Days of Abundance. And today we're talking about the fact that you, my friend, are incomparable. You are incomparable. Like the sunset or the view of the mountains. You are incomparable. I quote this scripture a lot and today it's actually part of the lesson. So sorry, you've heard it a thousand times. Psalms 139 says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully doesn't mean like, oh, I'm scared. It means so incredibly perfectly that I reverence the creator who made me. It's that perfect. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. This is wonderful. I know it full well. Those sunsets and sunrises, wonderful. There was recently an eclipse of the moon. Did you guys see that? It's wonderful. Mm, the stars, the beautiful starry sky. Wonderful. Beyond compare, you cannot compare them. How much more a human life? How much more you? Do you realize you are beyond compare? You are in compare. And ripple. Yes, you are. You're amazing. Hmm. Here on purpose with a purpose by design, not by default. Greatness in you. Wow. Are you seeking your greatness? Are you realizing that you are incomparable? And if you don't do what you're supposed to be doing, nobody else can paint the picture you can paint. Nobody else can do you. Nobody else can be you. Only you can be you and do you and bring the abundance that comes with your package, honey. Just you. Just you. You are more than enough. Your life is amazing. But you know what? We've sold ourselves a bill of goods that causes us to be insecure, that has us think that we just look like everybody else. We're just like everybody else. But there's nothing special or unique when that's not true. 
you are incomparable. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Perfect. Oh, to the reverence of God of the universe that he made you. Chose you. And has a plan for you. Making you, friend, incomparable. Stop comparing yourself. You can't compare. The beautiful sunsets, sunrises, moons, tides. How do you compare it? How do you compare it? A diamond, a big, beautiful diamond. Notice I said big. How do you compare it? There is no comparison. How much more in human life? How much more you? Stop comparing yourself and realize that you, friend, are wonderful. And you should be able to embrace yourself and say, I'm wonderful because I was made to be wonderful. This I know quite. I'm going to challenge you. Take some time to write down 10 things that are wonderful about you. And if you can't find 10 things, then you go find 10 friends. Or, I don't know, one friend that can find 10 things about you. And I want you to read it out loud to yourself. And stand in front of the mirror and look at yourself while you say it. And it might be uncomfortable at first, but pretty soon. Just like I hang this up for all to see. you will begin to see yourself as incomparable. And that'll make you super excited to go out and do the work that you were called to do. You're called to do something that nobody else can do. But until you realize that you're incomparable and that you've been called with a purpose, there's greatness in you, do you realize that and start stepping out in it? There's so much in us that lays dormant and the world needs it. We can't, we can't hide it under a bushel. No, we don't hide our light under a bushel. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. It's time to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. <laughs> right? Okay, listen. It's time to stop thinking, oh, I'm just being polite by saying, you know, I'm just an, I'm just an average vessel. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of special. Stop it. You are unique. There's no one else like you. You are incomparable. Stop comparing yourself because it's not doing you or the world any good. The world needs you to assume the position. And I'm not talking this. Okay, I'm talking receiving that greatness and walking in it. Stop comparing yourself. Receive the greatness that God has placed in you. Les Brown says you're a masterpiece because you're a piece of a master. Can you look in the mirror and say that? I'm a piece of a master. Practice that this week. All right. You'll find your confidence is growing. And not in a arrogant way, in a confident way. We're supposed to boldly come before it, and that means confidently come before it, the throne of grace. Because we know who we are. We know who we are. And we're excited about it. To take on the challenges and to do the work. Yeah. There's a work for you to do. And nobody else can do it for you. Question for you today. You ready for it? Here we go. How has comparing yourself, instead of seeing yourself as incomparable, incomparable, how has it hijacked your destiny? How has it hijacked your purpose? How has it hijacked your courage? Think about that. And then... Here's my question that follows that. Are you going to stop letting it get hijacked? 
Let me pray for you. You bow your hearts. Heavenly Father, give us eyes to see, to seize the day, and to savor all that you have. Help us to see ourselves the way you see us, as incomparable. To savor the wonderfulness of who you created us to be and what you're doing in our lives. Help us to develop to the disciplines that we need. So we walk with the right intentions and we can accomplish all that you put us to do. And we can, we can live in that greatness. Thank you that you truly have made us fearfully and wonderfully made. All your works, including us, are quite well. And we know this to be true. And we will live as such. Thank you for divine direction. Thank you for divine instruction. And for having your way in our lives. In your name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. All right. Look at this picture. If I hadn't told you what it meant, you just said, oh, that's just a nice thing. <laughs> but it is incomparable. You know what? So are you. Hold your head up high today. You're God's masterpiece. <laughs>